mm. Africans don't do it that way because they no that that is really serious because they believe no, that no, no, no. they believe that marriage counseling is not for them. They know what to do. Mm. Oh, we're supposed to be in control. Men are supposed to control that. their so wives, so right? I believe our kids are marriage counselor. He would know how difficult it is to even get men. I'm not saying some women are not difficult, but mainly men into therapy. Men, men, I mean, men, I'm not men, talking men about therapy. I'm talking about counseling. counseling. Trot, trot, on their trot. Yeah, not yeah. even you tell them counseling. In fact, the farthest they're prepared to go is counseling in a church. That's if they go in too far. And I tell you why they sometimes accept to go to the church because they believe that the church will use the bible and preach the piece of missive message so they feel oh do you know what if i really have to go that's the place to be my pastor is going to say to the woman he's the head of the home that kind of and his head will interpret it as being the head means power authority control so my decisions can be anything if i'm the head of the home i could take any decision i mean those are the privileges right and that's why with African men, if they go the furthest, is it in a church counseling that they would rather go? I notice, I notice that as well. They would <laughs> never submit themselves to the conventional counseling, which goes, by the way, you're the head of the home, but both of you are partners in this. And if you're partners, there are certain things, i.e., do, 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 no, you don't have to tell how you jump on the ceiling. And, yes, I'm not criticizing the church world no, because no, even even the even the truth, eh, the truth, <laughs> the truth of a Bible counseling is not even about just being the head of a house. You understand me? It's not about taking decision. If we want to follow the biblical, uh, but I can, they will uh, never have, ever miss out the word be submissive to your husband. No, no, they no, will never. On. That's what I want to say. For those who they will be, say everything good. No, no, for they, those, they, I, I'm not saying that. Hold, hold on, let me finish. I'm not saying, and, and sorry, I, I, I didn't mean it to come out in a bad way. They're not saying well, that the man should maltreat the wife. I don't think any counseling would church counseling would ever say that. So I need to clarify. But what I'm saying is, in order to treat your wife fairly and all that, they would, you see, it's very sneaky because they're, they're telling the man, you're not supposed to do this to your wife, blah, blah, blah. You know, all the good things, how to treat people. That's the whole idea, isn't it? But at the same time, they will say, nevertheless, however, that submissive must come in. Now, they're not going to say to the man, oh, and that doesn't mean that if you tell her to bank her head or you should beat her. No. But what I'm saying, I'm not saying take away the word. Actually, find a better word. Okay. Let Respect. Me, let, 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 yeah. Let, let me explain something to you. What, what people don't know is that from both sides, eh, marriage is conditional. Thank you. Marriage is conditional. And if you, even from the biblical biblical point of view, marriage is conditional. The submiss the submissiveness, uh, the submissiveness of a woman, is predicated on the love of a man. That's true. Vice versa, and vice versa. Do you understand me? So the idea that okay, you must uh, you must be submissive, without the reciprocated action, does not hold. Thank you. And you also, so, so uh, for those who know, because if I mean, if you quote the right uh, 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 passage of the Bible, is husband yes, love your wife, and the other Be submissive is, to each submit yeah, to so, each other so, is there so, to, to one <laughs> another. To sorry, sorry. marriage is conditional to on both that. sides to it's one conditional. another. Yeah. Okay, here is the thing. On both sides. What I can just said and what you said, Coco. I interviewed a woman, I think it was last month or about five weeks ago on this on Diaspora Lounge. This and, woman sorry, and there are certain things you will not do when you love someone. When That's you love true. Someone. That's correct. This woman was Thank married to, to somebody I'm claiming sure people to be are listening. This woman was married to someone claiming to be a pastor, right? And after the ordeal that she went through for over 20 years and now come out of it, she did say something. Well, so I asked her, so all those years, all that time when you were doing this, why were you doing it? Were you doing it because you were being a 
virtuous woman. She said, yes, I want you to be a submissive wife. But you see, this, these are her words. She said, I want you to be a submissive wife. So I said to her, so tomorrow, how would you advise your own daughter? I said, do you have a daughter? She said, yes. I said, how would you advise your own daughter when we're thinking about this submissive thing? And a man wants to tell her she won't work, she should do this, she should do that. How would you advise her? It's not slavery. It's a relationship. Huh? It's not slavery. Uh, slavery. She said. It's a relationship. So her response was that even in the Bible, it says, submit yourselves one to another. That's that thing that Coco just said now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I said, perfect. This is great because she is married to a pastor and they pastor a church. They were pastoring a church and it's coming out of your lips. You are saying this, that even in the Bible, it says, submit yourselves one to another. So the submission is not really one side. But the people like to talk about only that one because it's what favors them. So many things in our society, in the world today, are the way they are because of the people who were in charge of things. I say it all the time, who makes the policies, even the constitution and everything, who makes those policies? is the person who is in charge, the people who are in charge. So it's not necessarily that those things are necessarily the truth all the time. It's because I'm in charge, so I'm going to make policies that will state what I like. That's true. There's, there's one equation that I normally put forward to everyone that comes to me that I speak to concerning marriage. I say marriage is loyalty hmm, times love over submissiveness. Loyalty. The woman owes the man loyalty. The man owes the woman love. The man is the one who is supposed to love the, uh, uh, the woman. The woman is supposed to be loyal and is conditional yet to be loyal to the man. But underneath it, what equates it is submissiveness to one another. Loyalty times love over submissiveness. Over submissiveness. So that's, when you don't that's, even that's have that's that. The equation. If you follow that equation, any marriage will work. No matter the difficulty that you face, yeah. people will always come out of it. Stronger, it goes, it stronger goes back to, yeah. goes back to is this person even actually supposed qualified to be in a relationship? Yeah, because if you're if not you going to be able that. to be permissive, if you yeah, cannot, you cannot be, do that, then yes, not, you cannot see the other person work. as important yeah. as well, then you have no business in a relationship. Even this thing, Akin said, the woman is supposed to be the loyal one. Some people are going to walk away tomorrow and say, Okay, so that means that he's trying to say that men don't have to be loyal. But they love. But inside that, you will see that you cannot inside love. love there's loyalty now. You, you can't love someone without being loyal. Exactly. Yeah. 